Hi, I'm Tony Swinehart with MCP's Full Court Press, brought to you by Spectrum Health Ludington Hospital's Orthopedics. Today we are at Ludington High School speaking with Warren Stowe, who is the head varsity basketball coach for the girls, who recently just won and are on their way to the Final Four, correct? Yeah, yeah Final okay. Four at the President Center. <laughs> Yay! So congratulations you. to you, first of all, and thank you so much for taking time. We're yeah, kind of, of in a little bit of a crunch during the day today, but that's okay. So how did you get to be the coach of the girls basketball team here at Ludington? Um, so I'm a Ludington graduate, uh, 2000, and went away, Southeast Michigan, went to Eastern, and just kind of stayed in that area, I met my wife, and was living down there, and then uh, during COVID, uh, really just started thinking about what we wanted as a family, my right. wife and I, and mm -hmm. you know, we always were thinking about getting a place in Ludington so we could visit, because we both love Ludington, obviously, but uh just conversation started to get a little bit deeper and right. uh, next thing you know we're applying I'm applying for a science position there was the opening uh, okay. in the coaching position and uh, and the rest is history we moved up a couple summers ago and right we're home. and you took over yeah. no and the funny thing is too you also took over for your cousin yes right because yeah, he was, Stowe was the coach, the coach um, that I took over for and you know he's just uh, he's a Ludington guy through and through mm -hmm. and I, you know I think they didn't have a a solid or a, a long-term plan right. um, for the previous coach when after uh, they left. So you know, my cousin's not going to let a Ludington sports team fall through right. the cracks. So right. he stepped in, um, and then when I had the opportunity, I was able to take it. Awesome. Now, do you have children of your own yet? I do. Yeah, yeah I have okay. uh, two children, uh, nine and uh, six. Oh wow! Yeah, my and girls, uh, you, you my do daughter have... is nine. She's in okay. third grade, and my okay. son is six. He's in first grade. So, do you think you'll be coaching and continuing to coach as she comes up through, you know, or she, you know, she loves basketball right now, and I hope that that <laughs> never uh, changes. And my right. son likes basketball, so that would be awesome. That would be a dream come true. You know, we're a little ways away from that, but that would be great. Okay, and so you do have. Now, what's your dynamic like on the team? How many seniors, juniors? And you were able to bring up a couple of girls, yeah. too? So okay. we have uh, three seniors. Mm -hmm. uh, we currently have four sophomores, one freshman, so that's eight. And then we have uh, five um, juniors. Okay. And the freshman, is that Jenna Skiba? Yes, Jenna Skiba. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, we, yeah. You know, it's just like numbers have been such an issue, I feel like, all across the state for a lot of yes. teams and programs. And, I agree. You know, and we've had injuries and we had um, a lot of things happen. And about halfway through the year, I just really needed, um, we needed kids to practice, you know. Yes. And, Mm -hmm. uh, Hannah Glanville and Jenna Skiba just were busting their behinds like a lot of girls were on that JV right. group and uh, just wanted to reward them for coming to practice every day and getting beat up on right. by <laughs> Keelan and Ryan and everybody right. else and, yeah. and they've done great you know it's kind of a thankless job to practice every day and know you're probably not going to get in the game unless it's you up know. big or down big but right. um, they make us better no doubt about it. Yes well and I always and a lot of coaches have agreed with this sentence too, is when you, especially at a younger age, you play with a caliber of kids or girls or boys, whatever sport it may be, that's better than yourself, yeah. then you always will improve. Yeah. Like you said, they kind of get beat up on and everything, but by the time they're seniors, they're going to be fantastic probably. Yeah. You know what I mean? All the extra practice and playing against those older girls and they probably look up to them too. Yeah, and I and I think they do and it's it's easy to look up to the older girls that we have. I mean, you look at our three seniors, um, Ryan, Abby, and Jocelyn, they're just tremendous leaders. They set mm -hmm. a great example for the program and, and we're seeing that a little bit this year with um, Carly Mesher and Emma McKinley were five quarter JV girls who uh, pretty much just practiced with us last year. I mean, they okay. got in in a couple games. Okay. But you look at this year now, they're sophomores who are playing big minutes. So yes. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. So I know that throughout the tournaments, you've had a, some really close games. Yeah. And your girls are fighters, they for are. sure. <laughs> so as a coach, you've only, this is only like your second season, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. So how does that feel knowing that you are building this program and you see how hard fought that some of these games are. Yeah, it's um, it's overwhelming and I, I'm like an emotional person so my girls see that, especially after some of those games. It's just, it's really nice to, to have, first of all, the support of the community. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, it's overwhelming in the best possible way. Yes. Uh, and then, you know, in those close games, uh, we just try to be our best selves. And I know that's cliche, but uh, we talk a lot about that, about just doing your best and being your best self. And usually success uh, finds its way. Yes. Do that. Yes, true. Um, and, and against Nagani and against Frankenmuth, you saw that where uh, – we were doing everything we could, emptying our cup on the defensive end, and then next thing you know, we're the ones that are on top by three yeah. or four. Yes, so. yes, and that, well, that makes them also really exciting games mm -hmm. for all the spectators to watch. But I also know that not just the Ludington High School itself, but I know that there's a lot of people at Mason County Central, Mason County Eastern, like a lot of the surrounding schools, Manistee yeah. perhaps, uh, that are also rooting for your yeah. girls. So how many other varsity girls teams have been to the Final Four? Do you know? I do. Uh, we are the second ever in the really? of Ludington. <gasps> um, and we are, yeah, we were only the sixth team ever to make it to the quarterfinals. Uh, so there's the banner over here. Um, okay. 2004 was the last state uh, semifinalist. Okay. 2008 was the last quarter finalist. Okay. Um, so it's a pretty historic achievement that those yeah. girls have, and, and we try to, to just soak that all in, especially now that we're headed down to East Lansing. It's, it's kind of all gravy. We're going to compete, and we're going right. to try our hardest to win and, and be successful, but we also want to take some time and enjoy it. And and again, with the support, you know, I've had Coach Weiner um, text me, Coach Lyons at um, uh, Mesa County Central yeah. both text me. Coach Rez up in Frankfurt sent me a message. So it's yeah. been it's been really nice. Um, yes. Like I said, it's, it's overwhelming, but in, in a really yeah. good way. Yes. Almost surreal yeah. in a way. Oh, it is. And probably when you get to the Breslin Center, I can just imagine just the oohs and ahs, the girls in their yeah. eyes and just. Larger you than know, life. Yes, you know, yes. Works. And I think. I hope that and, and pray for the team that they kind of concentrate on the game too because yeah. that can be yeah. some of a distraction, don't you think? Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's and that's part of it. And that's part of my job is trying to focus them, focus them in on the fact that it's just a basketball game. It's, right. a, it's a big one and it's a cool venue. And But um, when you rip all that other stuff off of it, you're just playing basketball against... 17 year old girls on the other side. Yes, you know? that's true. <laughs> that's true. Well, good luck to you. Thank you for taking time out you of your it. day. Thank you for being here. We'll all that's be great. rooting for you and rooting for the team and the girls. I'm just, oh, that would be wonderful to get a state champ yeah. win and it would feel really good, I'm sure, to all of them as well, especially as hard as they have been fighting all the way through yeah. the tournament. They, they deserve all the credit. They, um, they're hard workers and, uh, and we're just going to be our best self. So go O's. Awesome. Go O's. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And for more news, go to masoncountypress.com.